Welcome to the Saw TV News. I'm Wendy. Let's watch the key news for today. The vaccination rate for adults in Malaysia reached 91.2%. The total population of fully vaccinated individuals reached 67.1%. According to the Health Ministry of Malaysia, the vaccination rate of the adult population has reached 90%. In this way, for those who are fully vaccinated, the government allowed people to cross the state. Starting from Monday, those who are looking to travel abroad are no longer needed to apply for My Travel Pass. However, once people return from abroad, they must undergo a quarantine period of 14 days and tested for COVID-19 before departure and after landing in accordance with the SOP of the Ministry of Health. Since most people are away from their home regardless of a board of different state, they would like to visit their parents across the state. Adhering to this, the government has come up with new COVID-19 SOP and restrictions will be lifted for those who are fully vaccinated Thanks Wendy, this is Samantha and I'm here to cover the second news of today. It was unfortunate that Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp decided to an outage. Massive and mysterious global outages took down Facebook globally for few hours along with Instagram and WhatsApp which were owned by Facebook. During an interview with one of the Facebook employees, Paul saw TV that the situation was unavoidable. The globally recognized platform Facebook was affected by the outage which began just before noon Eastern time. However, the Facebook stock price also fell by nearly 5%. The same goes for WhatsApp. A lot of people use it to replace text and regular calling. This incident has caused inconvenience to plenty of people. According to the strict interview on this matter, a woman said that she is not able to contact her mom because they are living in different countries. Another woman said it was like a nightmare because no one else could be rich. Until the next day of the outages, 5th October 2021, Facebook sent an apology on the company's official website and said that the system blackout was caused by the wrong configuration of the router. Facebook also indicates that they are sorry for the inconvenience caused to people all over the world. And the company has been trying to restore access rights. Today, Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp are back to normal use. Thank you, Samantha. I'm Andy. Welcome to the entertainment and sports segment. Squid Game has become Netflix's biggest ever series launch. Hundreds of cash strapped players accept a strength invitation to compete in children's games. The concept of this game, which is the 9 part series, which debuted in September, tells the story of a group of misfits taking part in a series of children's playground games. There's a price of 45.6 BN Korean won 28 million pounds up for grabs, which doesn't sound too bad until you realize if you lose and you get killed. This Korean drama was watched by 111 million users in its first 28 days, knocking Bridge Torn 82 million off the top spot. Netflix count its viewers if they watch it for 2 minutes of an episode. Congratulations to Malaysia number 1 men's single players Lee Zijia for successfully winning the Canadian men's single Brian Young. A good start for the Malaysian team. Lee Zijia also fell several times to catch the ball. According to all sport reports, Lee Zijia, who is the captain, has great confidence in his teammates and believes that the second and third singles can defeat the opponent and help the Malaysian team win the victory and advance to the top 8 